Ever wondered why some gas stations charge more and still have lines out the door? It's not just about location. Let's explore this idea of price elasticity of demand. Interestingly, gasoline demonstrates what economists call inelastic demand. This means that even if prices jump, the drop in demand is relatively small. Why? Because, let's face it, most of us need gas to get around, we can't easily find substitutes. We're pretty stuck with it. Think about other necessities like milk or eggs, they also tend to show inelastic demand. Now, let's flip the script. Many goods and services display an elastic demand. That's where a price increase leads to a significant drop in demand. This is often seen with luxury items, things we want, but don't necessarily need. Think about that new designer bag, a weekend getaway, or tickets to a concert, a price hike often means fewer customers. Understanding these concepts is crucial for businesses. Get the pricing wrong, and you could be looking at empty shelves. Nail it, and you're looking at success. So, the next time you're filling up your tank, consider the economics behind that price tag. What other everyday products can you identify as either elastic or inelastic, and why?